Hello and welcome to Digital Assets class. First off, let me say I am not a financial advisor. These videos are for educational and entertainment purposes only. I encourage everyone to do their own research and never invest more than you can afford to lose. So the day has finally come. Coinbase has decided to add XRP. After much pressure, a lot of requests, I know the XRP community, I mean, for the last two years, everyone has been wondering why Coinbase hasn't added XRP. Now, for a good part of the, I guess, say the last quarter of 2018, XRP has been like the number one digital asset in, uh, in market cap. So it only makes sense that Coinbase would add the number two or number three coin. It's uh, it's it's been mind boggling as far as why they haven't added XRP up until this point. And, you know, there's a lot of people that was wondering or, or asking the questions like, are they just Bitcoin maximalist or do they have something against XRP or Ripple, the company? Because it, it actually it absolutely made no sense why it took them so long to add this coin after their customers have been asking for it. Um, exchanges like Binance added the coin. They listen to the community. They listen to people that, that they're traders and, and they provide the coins and stuff that they want on their exchange, you know, and Coinbase has, they started adding more coins because initially they only had like three coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. And then they started, they added Bitcoin Cash, and then they started adding all these crazy coins like Ox and all these different coins that people were like, what in the world are you doing? Why are you, why are you adding all these coins that nobody cares about, but you haven't added XRP? So, you know, it's a lot of speculation, a lot of stuff was going on as far as why, why they hadn't added XRP, but here it is. February 25th, 2019, Coinbase adds XRP. So let's see what they are saying about XRP. XRP is launching on Coinbase Pro. So after 10 a.m. on February 25th, 2019, we will begin accepting inbound transfers of XRP to Coinbase Pro. We will accept deposits for a minimum of 12 hours prior to enabling full trading. Please note that inbound transfers require the specifications of an XRP destination tag. And a destination tag is basically uh, an identifier for XRP transfers. So you have your, your transfer code or your wallet address, and then you have a destination tag that goes along with it. So make sure when you're, when you're sending coins or you're sending your XRP to Coinbase, make sure that you, uh, that you, that you include the destination tag or your your um your assets will be lost uh once sufficient supply of xrp is established on the platform trading on the xrp usd xrp euro and xrp btc order books will start in phases beginning with post only mode and proceeding to full trading should our metrics for a healthy healthy market be met xrp trading will initially be accessible for coinbase pro users in the u.s excluding new york UK, supported European Union member nations, Canada, Singapore, and Australia. Additional jurisdictions may be added at a later date. So they go on to explain a little bit about what XRP is. A lot of us already know, but I'm going to just see, see how they put it in their words, how, what they, how they describe XRP. So they're saying XRP is the cryptocurrency used by the XRP ledger, which supports international currency exchange and remittance. The ledger is powered by the network of peer-to-peer -peer servers. All accounts on this network can send and receive XRP to and from each other. While XRP can be used to send underlying fiat currencies between two parties, in this way, XRP can function as a bridge currency in transactions involving different currencies such as US dollar, Japanese yen, euros, francs, and others in use of the XRP network. Please also note XRP is not yet available on coinbase.com or via our mobile apps. We will make a, a separate announcement when that occurs. So Coinbase, just as a regular retail um, wallet, so to speak, um, XRP is not available on there yet. If you have the Coinbase app on your phone, it's not available there yet. And they will be adding it and making a separate announcement when, they, uh, when it's available. 
So the stages for their launch, uh, there will be four stages to launch as outlined below. We will follow each of these stages independently for each new order book. If at any point of the new order books does not meet our assessment for a healthy and orderly market, we will keep the book one stage for at, keep the book in one stage for a longer period of time or suspend trading as per our trading rules. We will send tweets from our Coinbase Pro Twitter account on as each order book moves through the following phases. The first phase is the transfer only stage that started at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Customer will be able to transfer XRP into their Coinbase Pro account. Customers will not yet be able to place orders and no orders will be filled on these order books. Order books will be in transfer mode, transfer only mode for at least 12 hours. Post only. In the second stage, customers can post limit orders, but there will be no matches, complete orders. Order books will be in post only mode for a minimum of one minute. Limit mode. In the third stage, limit orders will start matching, but customers are unable to submit market orders. Order books will be in limit only mode for a minimum of 10 minutes. And then full trading. In the final stage, full trading services will be available, including limit market and stop orders. Once, one of the most common requests we've received from customers is to be able to trade more assets on our platform. Per the terms of our listing process, we anticipate supporting more assets that meet our standards over time. So this is what they've been saying anyway. That, I mean, they, they know customers have been requesting XRP to be traded on Coinbase. I mean, Coinbase is the, is the largest um, exchange in the U.S. So quite naturally, people that are, you know, people in the United States have been clamoring to try to get XRP on this exchange. Now, of course, since they were taking so long and dragging their feet and stuff, a lot of people have lost interest. A lot of people were like, OK, who cares if Coinbase does add XRP? So we did see a bump today in XRP. I know at one point it was it, XRP was up at least 10 percent after uh, after this announcement. So it did make a the announcement itself did make a, 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 make a move as far as XRP is concerned. So tomorrow and going forward. We may see XRP volumes increasing. Um, we it, the only time will tell, but as volumes increase and trading goes live on on Coinbase, we may this may be the thing that sparks uh, XRP's bull run. We'll see. Um, other than that, it's been kind of an up and down market this, the last few days. I mean, we had I guess Litecoin kind of took off over the weekend or, or before the weekend and brought everything up for a little bit and then we had a, a sudden you know crash almost basically i mean everybody started selling off again trying to keep the market the, the bears came back into the market trying to keep the market down but after this announcement i'm not sure if they're going to be able to keep it down much longer um i know we've got fidelity digital assets supposed to be going live next month and i don't know it, it i just i just feel like the bull run is is right around the corner i mean we've got all the ducks are lining up everything is in place for xrp and digital assets in general just to just take off so hopefully um everything goes well with the with the trading and and you know people start filling their accounts with xrp and it meets all of their um their market aspect ratios or whatever you want to call it for them to have a healthy healthy trading on xrp and we can be in full trading tomorrow so again this is some great news i guess i'm not sure if it's too little too late for coinbase because i know they've been kind of struggling this year um i know they were actually losing losing customers or kind of people they're they're their revenues have not been the same as say a Binance. Binance has been just killing it this year. And and Coinbase, you know, I think they did this like because so many people were asking for it and they finally gave in to what their customers wanted, which is a good thing. Again, please like, please subscribe. Thank you guys for listening and I'll talk to you later.